G'day guys, welcome back. I am out bush, but I'm scouting for a new campground for the subs day out. I went to the other one, she's a little bit flooded, so it's not looking great. Anyway, I've found this spot, it's not so far from the other, other place, it's actually just over the hill, but um, this one comes with nice little waterfalls, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, plenty of water here, there's plenty of diggings, and there's plenty of open ground for lots of camping, so you would be able to get a sedan in here easy enough, a caravan of any size not so sure uh, campers you would yeah maybe a small van maybe but yeah um, but yeah swags and all that will be fine anyway guys if you are bringing a dog whilst you're in amongst everybody if you could keep on a lead that would be great but yeah quite welcome to bring a pup along um, if you're out in the field probably let them off have a bit of a run around but anyway guys I'll take you for a little bit of a tour and yeah we'll see what you're sort of coming to this weekend now we have some diggings here they're coming down the gully here running down into a dam. So if you want to do a spot of high banking, there's going to be plenty of water for that. But over the back there is quite a large creek. So we'll pop down there for a bit of a look. And we have a bit of a hillside here. Some old timers working, so should be plenty of mounds to run over. But being a bit of a hillside, a bit of a ridge line, you never know, might be a little bit of gold coming off it too. So there's plenty of room for everyone to run around on. Well, we're just below the dam. That's the banking you just see up there through the creek. Nice little waterfall going on there again with some really nice looking gravel. So that might be a good little spot to have a bit of a pan. Well guys, that was a quick little tour of the place and it's actually looking pretty good. We are actually just over the hill from where I was the other week from where we were originally gonna be. It's probably only a couple hundred meters over the hill because I just went into the creek that I was in. And as this event has gotten larger each time, um, and this one being a two day event, I've actually hired a toilet. So we're gonna have a toilet on site and that'll make it a lot more comfortable for everybody. And also guys, and because it's sort of getting big and it, um, the expenses are growing considerably as these things go along, I'm actually going to um, charge a couple of bucks a ticket for the raffle. Um, it's just to offset the cost. I do not want to make money off of this. I just want to sort of, cost neutral would be nice and yeah, um, but it sort of helped me out a lot. Um, I've already had a generous donation from John, um, much appreciated. He wanted to sort of put a bit of money towards the barbecue. So that's excellent. So I really appreciate that. So guys, yeah, bring a few bucks along because obviously it's only going to be cash. Um, Baza will have his little pans there, five bucks a pan. Kez is printing off a heap of uh, stubby holders. So yeah, stubby holder for five bucks and she's doing some mugs. The mugs are $15. If you want a mug, we are sort of really doing pre-orders. We might have a few extras, but they do cost a little bit more to have around. So guys, it's not too late to attend. If you want to head along, yep, yeah, just hit that subscribe button, send us an email, and I'll give you the details to the meetup point. Anyway, guys, if you are actually traveling down here on the Friday night and you are camping somewhere, I will actually be camping here on the Friday night. I have arranged to meet at the, the meetup point um, between probably 4 and 4.30. So if you're at the meetup point between 4 and 4.30, um, we can head in with us then because I'm going to come down on the Friday to set up for the Saturday. Other than that, I'll catch us all Saturday morning. Cheers, guys.